We've got some exciting news. We got our first piece of fan mail today. So we are gonna open that tonight, actually right now. It doesn't really say, it just says it's from Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the McNeil family. This morning we are getting the girls some breakfast before school. They both have asked for toast, one with jam and one with only butter, and a little gummy vitamin for the day. Carmen? What? How are you feeling this morning, sis? Good. You ready for school? No. No? Yes, you are. I just don't want them to go. <laughs> so the girls have school today. The boys are already gone to school. It has turned off so cold here the past couple of days that we have had to turn on our fireplace this morning because it's freezing outside. It literally feels like winter. Poppy's over here enjoying the fire. Does that feel good, Poppy? <laughs> She's just hanging out over by the fire where it's warm. I cannot believe how cold it has gotten just literally overnight. So the kids will definitely be going out to school in coats today and hopefully it warms up this weekend because we are headed out of town for Labor Day weekend. Owen later this afternoon has an orthodontist appointment that I have to take him to. One of his brackets came loose, so we have to take him back in and get that reattached and a few other things in between. So hang out with us all day. It's gonna be a great day. All right, it is already time to pick up the girls from school. We're gonna drop Austin off at football practice and then Owen and Claire and Carmen and I are gonna run and grab them school shoes because we did not do that before school started. We just figured they would be okay to start school with the shoes they had. And now that it's cooling down, the girls need some closed-toed shoes. The sandals just aren't gonna cut it anymore. So after we drop Austin off, that's where we're gonna head and hopefully we can luck out and find something for them. The first store we're gonna run into is Famous Footwear and hopefully they have restocked since so it's back to school rush because a few weeks ago when Austin and Clay looked, they literally could not find anything in there. So we're hoping we can find something today. I got a lanyard from school. You got what? A lanyard. What's on it? Um, oh, your mask? Is that for your mask? Yeah. To not get lost? Yes. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Miss Claire Bear here needs some gym shoes. And she's got gigantic feet, so she can shop in the women's now. <laughs> Eight or seven. Do you see any that you like? Kind of. You like those ones? They're just like the ones that I like, can put on like this. Oh, they're comfy too. Those are cute. Would those work for PE? I think I'm gonna... These ones are also so cute. But it's like hard because I also have some white shoes. But my other Nike gold ones didn't get that dirty. So you need to find some O-work for PE, right? Yeah, Carmen, no. did you find anything? No. No? Absolutely nothing. Hmm? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing? So far to get on. Can you loosen them anyway, or they just stretch? Much, much, much later. So big! All right, she finally got the shoe on. Turn it around so I can see the back side. It's got that cute teal color on it that Claire loves so much. What do you think? Do you like them? Yeah, but I think I'm gonna keep looking a little bit more. I'm gonna keep them with me. But I mean, I like them because I like. Those are super cute. I really like those. They're and they would be easy for you to put on and off. My mom's like. I don't think you're seven. I was like, uh, I measured my feet to my friends, and her feet are seven. So my feet were teens a bit bigger, and so I knew I was a seven. And then I was like, wait, actually though, I'm an actual seven. Sure enough, she is a Look, size my, seven my in women's. Right here. And wow, she? I can't believe it. All right, Carmen, did you find anything you like? These are huge. Those are huge. They're not going to fit your little feet. Those are cute though. Let's keep looking down here and see what we can find. Do you like these, Carm? No. No? I don't like pretty princess. They're not pretty princess. They're just flowery. I don't want She doesn't like pretty princess, she says. Well, they are, okay? What happened to my little girl? I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> yes, you are a little Those kid. Are Those are cute. What size are they? You have to look at the actual shoe. The US size. They're a one. 
So they might fit you. You can try it on. Be sure to so hard to get on and off these. Strong foot. Tip. When you're putting on shoes, always look at this and then do and do that foot. <sighs> oh gosh. They're a little tight. Alright, so Carmen has chosen these pink Nikes for her shoe choice. They're super cute. I think they're gonna be adorable on you. Okay, let's go find Claire and Owen, see if they have found anything. All right, Owen has chosen these white ones, which makes me a little bit nervous that they will be just dirty and destroyed in a week's time. Maybe. They have anything else that you might like? Yeah, but I want a running shoe. He also likes these shoes right here, which I like those as well, but they're not really running shoes. Those are cool. So I decided between these ones and these ones. I think I like the Nikes better if we're gonna go with same because these I don't like how tight these come up. Yeah, I think the Nikes are better. Okay. Done and done. Alright, Claire, what did you find? Those? Mm -hmm. Those work for PE? Um they will. But should I get them? I don't know because they're white. But I, I did get gold ones of these. And they didn't get that room that easily. I think they're really cute. They are really cute. So if you can wear them for PE, then that's, I'm fine with them. It's so hard to decide though. Like, the other ones that I have on, I think that they're a little too showy, but they're so comfortable. The black ones? The, the black and teal ones. All right, we scored pretty dang good on the shoes today. Carmen got two pairs of shoes, Claire got one pair, and Owen got two pairs. So Carmen got some Crocs, which is what she's most excited about. <laughs> Owen got Crocs as well. It's hard for me to believe that Crocs are back in style. What is even happening? We're bringing them back. Oh, you're right. bringing them back? Oh. Yeah. All right, Claire, let me see your shoes. Boring. And Claire got these super cute gym shoes, which I almost got a pair too, but I let Claire get them instead. I got. Because they are very cute. Look how big they are. And they're comfortable. And she can't even wrap her mind around the fact that she is a size seven in women's. <laughs> It is big news at the McNeil house tonight that Claire is a size seven. She keeps telling everybody. And Carmen got some cute little pink shoes. And I got. Oh, and where's your other pair? Watermelon, no show socks. Watermelon socks. So, ka chow those. 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 And ka chow those. Cute. And here's Owen's shoes that he chose. Nice. I have a feeling he'll be wearing these Crocs more often than the gym shoes, though. So, um, the reason I did not get two pairs was because I was greedy, you know? <laughs> no, because you don't like Crocs. School no, Claire's less greedy. All right, so we were successful in getting shoes, and now it is time to run Owen to the orthodontist to get his bracket fixed on his tooth, and then we have to rush him over to soccer practice. It's a crazy night tonight, but we're getting a lot done. Okay, bud, so I'm gonna take off those colors. And then we'll clean off that tooth and that bracket, and I'll put that one back on. Other than that one bracket coming off, have you had any other issues? Uh, there's this a wire in the back right here. On the top? Yeah. A little bit long? Yeah. Looks like it probably slid over a little bit, which unfortunately does kind of happen a little bit with the beginning wires, just since they're so light. Let me see the one that fell off. Are you ready? Uh, no. Put back together there. <laughs> I'm not even sure how it popped off. Yeah, it's crazy when it comes off. Normally it's the back ones. Yeah. You know? So, was, I don't even know what he was eating. Yeah, weird. I'm sure it wasn't anything illegal. <laughs> right? Nothing that he wasn't supposed to eat. <laughs> That's right, I'm sure it wasn't. There's no way. There's no way. He doesn't look like the type that would be eaten. Never. Some poking you up here is much better. Hey. 
Guys, I just got home from work and we are just uh, having some dinner. Kids are eating some pizza tonight. It looks like Carmen is having some peaches and some milk. So we've got some exciting news. We got our first piece of fan mail today. We're not sure when uh, it was sent, but we finally got around to checking our mailbox. So we are gonna open that tonight, actually right now. All right, we finally got all the kids back in the house. The suspense is intense around here. Everybody's excited to open this letter, see what's inside of it. Who's it from? It doesn't really say, it just says it's from Canada. From Canada. Thank you, Canada. We love our neighbors to the north, don't we, boys and girls? <laughs> yeah. All right, Kurt. Uh, letters inside? Can I take Multiple it? letters inside? No, I think. Okay, it says clay. Oh, there's separate letters. Clay and another clay. Oh, oh three. For, clay. Uh, three for me. <laughs> uh, let me have them. Yeah, you guys can open them. They're awesome. So it says, the blessing of the Lord be upon you. Dear Clay Terry family, may God bless you with the highest measure of right. his favor, with the deepest measure of his love, with the fullest portion of his grace. I'm thinking about you with a full of a grateful heart. Rennie Kirkness. Thank you. Rennie Kirkness. Thank, Thank you, you. Rennie. Mine says, the Lord brought to my mind today. Dear Clay, Terry family, thinking of you with my heart, remembering you in my prayers. Good reading, Carm. No. Oh, we got one more. Oh. Okay, one more. You're my favorite person in the world. Look at this one, Carm. <laughs> I like that a lot. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Two puppies. I knew Carm would like that. You're the one I love to go new places with and share new adventures. You're the one I love talking to and hanging out with more than anyone else. Dear Clay Terry family, you're my best friend and I love you with all my heart. Keep on smile, take care for many purpose. Thank you. Thank you, Renny. It was very sweet of you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, thanks Renny for the, uh, the words of encouragement, the kind words that were in there. Uh, we sure appreciate it. We have uh, a lot of great subscribers out there. We get a lot of great comments and uh, we appreciate each and every one of you guys. So if you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Make sure you turn on the notification bell and we're gonna start shouting out more people. We've got uh, some great people, so stay tuned tomorrow. We're gonna start shouting out those uh, wonderful people. So we love you guys, have a good night.